<laughs> ah, that's so crazy. I'm in Austin to speak with magic inventor Marcus Eddy about his work and also to watch him do this. Uh, does someone have a bill that I can use? Uh, any kind of bill, like a, like a one or five? Anyone have a bill? Cash. Uh, Do they have no. one? Air that roaring in the back? Anyone have cash? Uh, but, uh, but Ben, it, it is, it's your birthday though, right? It is, yeah. Uh, you mind if I do this for you? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome, awesome. Here, you, you can actually hand that to someone else. Yeah, definitely. And uh, could you grab the bill? Sure. Remember, we're in this together 50 50, don't forget it. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah. Here, uh, okay, check this out. I have these bands on here. These are kind of like memories here. Uh, check it out, pull one, make sure it doesn't break or anything like that. Can you do the same thing with this one? Just make sure it's a normal band. Every time I do this, people think I do. They have these like trick rubber bands or something like that. There's not a trick rubber band, right? Nope. nope. There, there you go. Right. I'll take that and I'll take this. I'm going to show you something you'll never forget for the rest of your life, all right? Okay. You ready for this? Yeah. It's for your birthday. Here we go. Use cool. your imagination. That's one, two, Three, four steps of a ladder. Imagine a ladder, okay? Now you guys are gonna get a behind the scenes view of this. This is gonna be great. Take your bill and fold it in half. Uh, a link fly, sorry. Oh, okay. The hot dog style. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's not as cool. Remember that? Remember that? Remember that? Now take this in right there. Push it in between that first and second step. Push through, push through, around the bottom. Hold those two ends together. Don't move, don't let go. Stay right there. Don't move, don't move. Here's the idea. Ben, I'm gonna move the bill up and down the ladder while you're holding on to it. Okay. So do not let go. You ready for this? Yep. Here we go. Do you ask if this yeah. is back? Mm -hmm. First to the second. Okay, here we go. What? Look, look, it actually went to the second step. Yeah. You didn't let go, is that correct? That is right. Look, I can't go through your fingers. I'm gonna go to the bill. Can y'all see? Yeah. Uh -huh. Watch, second to the third. Here we go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Step by step, just climbing up the ladder. Look, jump from one band to the other if you think about it that way, right? Right. The last one, watch right by, right by your fingers, right there. Two. Look. What? In the very <laughs> 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 That's right. Can I see it real quick? Can I see it? Yeah, for sure. Look, I did that in slow motion so you can see what it looks like. Here's how I normally do it. As you can see, I'm kind of locking and trapping that bill. See how it's locked on there? Right. I'm going to move the bill down to the bottom where it started. You're going to see it melt through every single strand looks exactly like this. Here we go. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Here, Here grab us the bottom of that. Sure. Pull all the way off. There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in anything you do, uh, magic you know, specifically, if you take what you have in front of you and you know, learn the trick, you learn the mechanics, learn the moves and everything to present it, then look deeper into that and see what else you can pull from it. And, and then what I like to do is I like to pull from other experiences not in magic, so my other loves, uh, which includes music, you know, I love music. Uh, stuff like you know my hobbies like origami and stuff like that I'll, I'll take all these other loves that are not magic which can be magical which is a difference as well and bring them into the magic that I'm doing so that you know that also helps me give a unique view on, on, on my uh, on my magic and I think anyone can do that to make themselves instantly unique is to take something that they love outside of magic and then bring that back into what they're doing in magic and then sharing that because that is going to once again, it's going to set you apart from everybody else, and it's going to give someone else uh, a deeper glimpse into you, into your right. life. You know. Um, so talk to me about how that looks on a practical level. Like I know mm -hmm. what that means to me, mm -hmm. but I, I, it's probably different for everybody. Like yeah. you have a love of a certain kind of music. Mm -hmm. How does that shape the magic that you're doing? So uh, so music is is one of those things where if you uh, I, I've, I've you know tried to do it the literal way. And, and by that I mean, I've, you know, because I also write, I write music, uh, I'm an MC as well, so I tried to, like, you know, to do poetry or, or rap while I'm doing magic, right? So that's a literal way to do it, right. and I found that that doesn't always resonate, right? Because, I, um, I, I don't know, I know, I, in my experience, uh, and I, I know this can work, but in my experience, it, it, it just doesn't kind of go together. So what I'm saying is, the feeling now, now I'm going to tap into the feeling of music that I get. So whenever I hear like a beautiful piece of music, that feeling that I get, how can I now translate that to someone else? 
so that whenever I show you something, yeah. you're gonna have that same feeling like, right. oh my God, I resonate this you know, so much or I relate to this because this, you know, this takes me back to some memory that I have, which I believe music can do. Yeah. Music can definitely take you back into a time when you hear something, you hear the song, uh, maybe hear Backstreet Boys. I don't so know. Time, time travel, yeah. <laughs> it right. Takes you back. Literally takes you back to that. I don't know why I picked Backstreet Boys, but uh, yeah, uh, we're doing it. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> but, this, is, uh, this is the first Backstreet Boys reference I've got. By the way, the by the way, yeah. <laughs> boom! I win. I win. Okay, and interview interview's over. There we go. All right, guys. Um, anyway, um, so you. Uh, for instance, you know, you hear a beautiful song that takes you back to a time when you first heard that, right? How can I now take that experience and that feeling and put it into a magic effect uh, so that I can share that with you? Right. What, do you what do you love about performing? Uh, it is the, I love people. I love people in general. And, uh, and, and that goes for me moving around, all around everywhere is that, you know, every time I, I went to a new place, I had to learn how to uh, meet new people. Right. And so... Was magic an important part of that? Like when you, you know, were, did you, were you the guy that did magic at school? Uh, I never used magic at scratch. Oh, uh, yeah. it, was, um, um, it was one of those things where I feel like I want to meet people first. And then, by the way, hey, I do some magic, you know, it's, it's that kind of thing. I, I feel like it's more important to be a great performer, a great person in general, is to know how to talk to people. Yeah. Um, Love and, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if, uh, if you, I feel, if you're using magic, for instance, as a way to meet people, then you, it's a possibility that you could hide behind that a lot. And uh, I, you know, I, I didn't think about this, you know, as a kid, I, you know, I was just being a person. But, um, but you, know, at, you know, as I grow up, I, I think more about this. So the fact that I'm, I'm able to meet people and just have fun, and, uh, we'll just have fun. And then you may not even know I do magic until like later, later on. And then, by the way, I, I show you something, you're like, oh my gosh. So, so really, really, you, you, know, in, in, you know, I'm just gonna say it. The magic tricks hardly matter in the grand scheme of things, in, in, in my opinion. I think you are the person who is magic. You are the person who is presenting these things to people. And you know, it's the same thing about a comedian. That's why I envy a comedian because they can walk on a stage with nothing. Yeah. All they do is walk out. You know, and the, the the mic is right there. They walk out, and, and they're they're able to share the same kind of experience that we could share with all these boxes and all these props. Yep. So in the grand scheme of things, I feel like the tricks don't even matter. Um, in in relating to the audience, um, I I feel like you can, you can be magic without having magic, and uh, and, and and you know I. That's, that's kind of an interesting experiment now that I said that in my head to try to see well, well how less you know how much magic do I actually need in right. order to how present, much can you pull away uh, to, right? or, or take away take yeah. away in order to still create a magical experience the magician has to be more amazing than the magic and, there you go and it's it's you yeah and and the magic reinforces that and about that? brings that to light and allows you to share it mm -hmm. but but you have to be like the real secret is you wow and and once you learn how to unlock that, it changes everything.